What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Back for day two of at least seven days of consistently posting something. And it's later in the day, so I kind of not almost forgot, but I was like, all right, let me hurry up and make this because had work, was out at the office, busy at the office, coming back home, back with the family. I mean, you never really get to get anything done, especially when sometimes they're around. I mean, you get to get stuff done, but you don't really get to get privacy, right? Um, so today, what to talk about? Um, appreciation, I guess, is something I would talk about today. You know, my wife is pregnant with our fifth child. It'll be my sixth. And we have four daughters together. And she's pregnant with another child that'll be due in March. And one of the one of the things that's like I'm really, 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 really appreciative of is the fact, and gentlemen, really think about this for those who um, have wives that have birthed in multiple children or um, are ages in a relationship. Maybe you're not married, but you have someone who's birthed you multiple children. But really consider this fact. She not only did it once, not only did it twice, not only did it three times, but she did it four or five or X amount of times. And that is what is um, so amazing about my wife and what I'm really appreciative of when I sit back and think about it. And over the years, she's gone through physical changes, right? As women, they go through a physical change that us men don't want to go through, never want to actually... I don't even want to know, right? I don't want to go through that pain. And she's she's done, um, she's done all natural births on top of that too for um, three out of the four that we have together. And so um, this number five will be another natural birth, home birth. Um, and this will be her third home birth. No, this will be her fourth home birth, I'm sorry. Just you start to lose track after so many, but the fact that she has gone through five plus pregnancies because we did have a miscarriage at at one point in the past, but five pregnancies for me is like you must love me, you must really love me, you love God, you love producing reproducing um replenishing the earth, multiplying, you must really love that. And so that's just what I want to say today in this video that I'm going to post here on YouTube. It's just appreciation. And gentlemen, really sit back and think and look at your wife and consider the fact that she went through however many periods of nine to 10 months, maybe miscarriages, I mean, not miscarriage, but maybe even premature births, right? So the, the the span of time could be different but there's there's not just the nine months of pregnancy then birth but there is the months of recouping recuperating um whether you've had a cesarean section or a difficulty in the pregnancy uh, in the birthing process but your body then has to kind of come back together and it doesn't always come back together <laughs> like like they're expecting to um and some people snap back and some people don't. I mean, even as men, we get we get the pregnancy rate and we definitely don't snap back at times. But it's just amazing for her to have um, been willing to go through pregnancy five plus times for me and for our family. And that's truly a big aspect of appreciation that I have for her and what she has done. So men, look at your wives, look at your significant others who have birthed you multiple children and really sit back and consider like, wow, you did that for me, for yourself, for the family. And just be appreciative for that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. Look again, always think, live and be unstoppable. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.